Peter fuel kerosene because this is the uh, like best stuff for it. Cheap too in a container to put the chain in. So here's the grips. It's a nice pillow top grips. These are the ones we're gonna be installing on the bike. They look all right. Uh, got some transmission oil, but we're not gonna be showing that in this video. And here's the chain lube. We got the off road variant. Make sure you get that, because if you don't, that is not for dirt bike. That's what we're gonna be putting on the bike today. So you can use uh, really anything, a flathead. Me, I'm gonna try to use wire strippers. I'm gonna show you the fail process of this, if this fails, but. So what you're gonna wanna do, is you're gonna wanna take them, you're gonna grab like this, and you're gonna wanna pop it. They make tools for this too. So I'm like blocking all the light for the camera. Did I get it? No. So an easy way to take this off. You can use flathead pliers. Uh, really, all kinds of stuff. But if you grab a side like this, squeeze real tight, and then smack it with your hand. She'll come right off. I'm gonna get this guy out and clean him too. All right, here's your three components. This thing will pop it over. Into your container. Throw the master link in there too. All right, and then I'll show you what to do from there. All right, so you're gonna take your kerosene, open it, pop a hole in it, pour it on in. Kerosene has natural oils that'll naturally lubricate the chain. Try to get a container that has a lid so you can store the kerosene. It's too much. Now you can use this over and over again. Look how clean this is getting it. Alright, you really don't want that to sit for a minute. You just clean off your hands. Alright, and then you're gonna wanna take something like a metal crystal brush. Like this. Metal. Here's a clean up the brush that I got on mine. You don't have to use this. It's nice. Take time, replace them, get back to you. Alright, now after you've let it sit for a while and you've cleaned it. Uh, scrubbed it up a lot, nice and good, right? Now you're gonna take it out of here. And you're gonna set it on a rag or a paper towel or something to soak it up, let it drain off first. Right? You're gonna scrub it a little bit more in, in spots that you didn't see before. So you wanna take this, and you'll pull it by this, if I can grab it. And dry it off. I stick it in front of the fan. Get my feet through here. I'm gonna drop it on the front bracket, make sure that's neutral. Alright, 
All right, got the master link on now. So now, I'm gonna put this piece on. All right, I'm gonna pop it on like that. Make sure this is in good. All right, then we're gonna pop this guy on. Easiest way to get this guy on, just by squeezing it like that. And now that's on. And then now we have to oil it. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna prop the bike up, uh, preferably with a dirt bike stand and, and not this uh, crack of the ingenuity I got set up right here, but I can freely spin the tire and apply the chain oil. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, guys, so we finished up the chain. We lubed it up real nice. It's going awesome. All right, and then we put the new grips on. Let me know how they look in the comments. My girlfriend would rather have the black ones, but I like them. I think they're nice. What do y'all think? Hey, hey, kick lever. <laughs>